Okay, hello everybody. In this in this Kim Teacher Studio Eight tutorial, I will be talking about record camera captions and quizzing. Now, first let's go to record camera. Record camera, record anything. If you have a webcam on and you want to record through your webcam, then it's fine. You, you can record it this way. Now, here's a really cool part about um, recording through the camera. You could actually also record to XSplit Broadcaster. Now you may be asking, why the hell would I want to record through XSplit Broadcaster? Okay. If you have a live stream, you could actually record it, like through Camtasia, if you really want to. And here's basically audio and stuff. But only through USB camera, you can do properties. Um, just change anything you want format if you know this stuff you can put it yep and then you just press start recording and see it's gonna take some time listening camera hello and then and you're this gonna is start a tutorial talking. for Camtasia Studio 8 and then you stop cuz and then you close it if you want I don't I'm not I'm not gonna save that up Audio setup, basically the same thing as voice narration. It's actually, it's the exact same thing as voice narration. What am I saying? And then, you know, finish. Now, four captions. Okay, so let's add a caption. Okay. I'm just going to type in something. This is... Okay, now you may be wondering, okay, why is this so good? Why can't we just add, let's say, a call-out vid, right? Okay, so here's kind of some reasons why. Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay, first of all is, it act for, I don't know why for me, it just kind of looks a little bit better than uh, the actual call-out. Sync options. Okay. So, you could actually make sync options will let you sort of like, you know how when you're like reading something and then like the words sort of highlight, you can actually sort of do that doing sync options, import captions, uh, it's export captions. Um, it's basically, um, basically you make a caption, then you sort of, let's just say I want to add something more to it, and then. Because ca these captions actually are very easy to use in a way, and these captions you can't really move it, but it does. It doesn't matter. I like them. I s I want to use them more on my videos, and probably probably I don't know. Plus, it's kind of it's kind of more easier to see because, as you see, there's like a black background and it does white text. That way, it's actually more easier for people to read as opposed to, let's say, you had a video that's mostly white, then doing a call-out might not be the best idea. This might actually be a better one, but it's your choice. Captions are just really good if you if you really want to. Quizzing. Um, it's, uh, that you can't really do these question things for YouTube and stuff, okay? Let's say, let's say you want to add the quiz, okay? <coughs> add a question. Ruler, add, okay. Let's just add a question, question type, multiple choice. To, uh huh. Then that's basic. That's basically it for the questions. Quest score quiz. Viewers can see the answers after submitting. Then you preview it. Let us preview what this question looks like. Okay. Okay. So. You see here how this quiz sort of works. Um, I should actually give more description. Quiz, the quiz name, it's the, it's what it's actually called for here. Question, question type, answers, default answer, choose the correct answer. It's, uh, 
this does not work for YouTube. If you're making a YouTube video, qu quizzes are not really good. It's, I could be wrong. I haven't done, I haven't done much quizzes. It's just, it doesn't seem like it could work on YouTube. Like, I guess you can add there for like a question, but then why not just add a caption to it? There's really no point. And that's base. That is basically the entire, the entirety of Camtasia Studio. That's pretty much simple. But I'm going to record. I'll be telling you about produce and share. Now, let's say you finished the video. Produce and share. Share the screencast. Screencast is the website that they have text like the actual people who make catches. These are what they have. Share to YouTube. Okay. Okay. Then you log in. I'm gonna tell you, you the sharing to YouTube. I don't really find it's worth it, just because there's just um. One thing is you won't have the actual copy of the video. I know you can download it off of YouTube, but you don't. You won't actually have it. Within within addition to that, I'm saying is. Uploading on YouTube will actually give you more options. Um, it'll have it'll give you the basic options like private and stuff. I haven't I haven't actually checked out the share to YouTube before Camtasia Eight. I have for Camtasia Seven. It's not that good. So they did change it for Camtasia Eight. Um, but I'm still going to go with just um making like making it MP4 with video. This like an MP4 only. Uh, 720p, and then that that would be good for me. That I think that'd be good. So, um, go to MP4 up to 720. This is HD, by the way. Dimensions. Next, your format should least one support of the fire for continuing quizzes. Yeah, see, quizzes are not supported. Hotspots are trying to captions lose closed caption capabilities, and then so on, so on. Because Camtasia Studio. It was it was not specifically made for YouTube. It was also supported for their website, which they could have done for these spot stuff. Make sure to do that. You want to add a title, then where you want to make the video, then you press finish, and then it will render the video. Depending what kind of video, it takes the if the longer the video and the more stuff on it, the longer it will take, and that that's basically common knowledge. And that pretty much covers everything except the recorder. Now, I'm not going to do the recorder just because, one thing, I'm actually recording with Camtasia Recorder right now. And it's not difficult to use. It's really not. So if, like, if, if, you, really need a, if you really need a tutorial for a Camtasia Recorder, it's not that hard. But uh, that pretty much covers everything about Camtasia Studio 8. So... I guess that ends this video then. So, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna end this off. I'm just gonna say bye. Bye!